Hi, I'm Daisy, and today I will be showing you how to draw a potted cactus. You will need something to draw on, something to draw with, and something to color with. I will be using colored pencils. Now let's get started. First, you will want to draw a line that slants slightly inwards. You are going to want to draw an identical line on the other side. Next, you're going to want to draw a curvy line curving down, connecting the two lines on the bottom. You are going to make, want to make a, another line curving down right here, connecting the top two lines. We're not going to make the other side of this. Later on we will be connecting it, but now we are going to come from here and just draw a line curving in the same direction as that line. We want to make sure it's curving downwards and this is going to be the part, some pots, some of those clay pots, have a little raised part at the top. Now we have to draw our actual cactus. You do not have to draw a cactus, you can also draw some other flower, or something like that, but I am drawing cactus. So I'm gonna make a two lines coming out I'm not going to make them come to this line, and I'm not going to connect them, though. And then I am going to make a line coming out of both of them. So now it has a funny little shape. Next, I'm going to leave a little bit of space here, about this much. And I'll put a dot there on each side. And then I'm going to make a line continuing up. And then when I get towards the top of my paper, I want to save a little bit of room. I'm going to stop and cur make a curvy top. So it's kind of like these curves, except the curve is going up. So it's also kind of an upside down U shape, if you want to imagine it like that. And now we're going to continue with this. We're going to take this and so we're going to draw it out more. Then we're going to come up, curve it the same way we did with that. And then make it come back to that line. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Draw it outwards some, make it go up, curve it around, bring it down, and connect it. Now we're going to add some details to our cactus to make it seem a little less plain. I think we will start with the flowers. So you are going to Let's start with the big one. You are going to draw a curvy line coming out. And then we're going to draw it coming in, not all the way in, just about that. And then we're going to draw another curvy line, this time coming a bit farther. Then we're going to bring it back in. We're going to draw another curvy line. But kind of, you see how it looks like that? It's kind of... It's centered with the tip of this. And now we're going to make that type of shape. So it's a curvy line on the left and a curvy line on the right. And now we're going to bring it up and come back down. Bring it up and come back down. And this is kind of like maybe a bud. So Maybe I'll draw a few lines. Those are the different leaves that are going to sprout soon. 
And then on this side, we're gonna draw a curvy line. The same thing, go out, go in. This time, I'm not gonna make a big bud like that. I'm just gonna do a smaller one. It's still centered though. And then I'm gonna make a curvy line, come in and uh, out and in. Now I'm gonna make one more on this side. So I'm gonna go out, in, not in all the way, out, in, out, come back this way, out, in, out, in. Now it is a little bit bigger than that one, but that's okay because flowers are all different shapes and sizes. Make some of those petal things on that side too. And cactuses, some of them have prickles. So I'm just going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to draw lots of these little lines. These are like the prickers that sometimes prick you when you touch a cactus. So you're just going to have to be patient at this part because it might take a little bit of time, but it will make your cactus look really good when you are done coloring and everything like that. Now that I have finished making all my little prickers, the pot is not quite finished. I'm gonna come on this side and I'm gonna make a line that curves up, stop at the cactus, don't draw it through the cactus, and then where you think you'd start it up again, about here, you're gonna draw the line and connect it to there. Now we have completed our pot and our cactus. Now it is time to color. I'm going to be making a clay pot. So I'm gonna use a reddish brown for my pot. I'm going to color in this a bit darker than I'm going to color in the bottom part. So I'm, I'm just going to press harder to color in this part and then when I color in this part I'm going to color just slightly lighter. So I'm not pressing as hard for the bottom part of my pot, but I am pressing hard for the top part of my pot. Now I am done coloring my pot and I'm going to take a normal brown. I used a reddish brown for the pot, so I'm going to use a different shade of brown and color in the dirt. When you get near the cactus area, you are just going to want to try not to color the actual cactus. And you don't have to make color in like a perfectly straight line like this. But just tr still try not to color all the way up here or anything. After you've colored the pot and dirt, it is time to color the actual cactus. I am just going to use green and color my cactus. The final step is to color the flowers. I am going to color mine using pink. Now I have finished my cactus. I hope you had lots of fun and you enjoyed this video. Bye!